Dolphinfish is not only an amazing game fish, but it's also one of the most widely consumed seafoods around the world. In Puerto Rico, it occurs seasonally and at times in great numbers. Despite its abundance, the existence of hard-working small-scale commercial fishermen and seafood restaurants that try to provide their communities with local, fresh, and sustainably caught dolphinfish fillets, a lot of the dolphinfish and other seafood eaten on the island is imported from distant overseas fisheries, depriving local communities of additional revenue they could earn from the sustainable harvest of local fish. The Beyond Our Shores Foundation is trying to change that. It is partnering with local seafood restaurants and small-scale commercial fishermen to provide them with educational tools to promote their local catch in exchange for collecting detailed fishing catch and effort and seafood consumption data. Partner restaurants and fishermen receive incentives while the Beyond Our Shores Foundation gathers critical information on fisheries in the fishing industry around Puerto Rico that will aid management and enhance ocean conservation. This film details how we executed the pilot project to offer this program to seafood restaurants and small-scale commercial fishermen around the island. Cedric Takan is a restaurant owner, chef, and small-scale commercial fisherman who fishes out of Club Nautico to Arecibo along the north coast of Puerto Rico. I learned about Cedric and his restaurant from colleagues as a graduate student in the Department of Marine Sciences at the University of Puerto Rico when lionfish invaded the waters and he would hold lionfish cookouts at his restaurant. And then in 2014, we began some work with the Puerto Rico Department of Natural Environmental Resources on a fish aggregating device research program, studying fat catch and effort, fish abundance and diversity, and movements of pelagic predators. And given Cedric's passion to participate in fisheries and ocean conservation research, naturally I approached him to participate. So we got him involved in January of 2017 by collecting his daily fishing catch and effort anytime he fished out of Arecibo, Puerto Rico. And we would compare, and still are comparing, his fishing catch and effort to fishermen that fish the fads off San Juan. And during one outing in April of 2017, we set out a Club Nautico to Arecibo aboard Cedric's vessel Partage, a 22-foot Seahawk, to one of his favorite fishing spots to target kingfish. And we had a phenomenal day, and during that day, we spoke about one of his passions, which is to showcase local, fresh, and sustainably caught seafood to his guests at his restaurant in Arecibo, Puerto Rico. And during that outing, the idea was born to create the Seasonal Catch Seafood Initiative, which essentially provides educational tools to his restaurant to allow him and his staff to better inform their guests about where their seafood comes from. In particular, where and when it was caught, and additional information about local seafood he acquires from other commercial fishermen, and even data on seafood imports that he uses to augment his seafood inventory. And we began collecting daily seafood inventory data just a few weeks before Hurricane Maria hit. Diembre 20 del 2017. Nos llegó la visita de Doña María, un huracán categoría 4, 4 y media, 5, y hacía mucho tiempo que no, pues básicamente nadie estaba preparado para esto, y nos azotó duro. En el caso mío, pues la casa mía de 13 años eh, la perdí, eh, la casa fue prácticamente pérdida total, y también el restaurante eh, Menta, Eh, cogió un golpe feo que en ese momento no sabía ni si iba a poder volver a abrirlo o no. The destruction from Maria was tragic, and when we visited, crews were cleaning debris as best they could. But also a message of inspiration was prolific. Puerto Rico se levanta, or Puerto Rico rise. And before even seeing this phrase, that is exactly why we are here. To help bring back the strength to individuals and communities around the island as best we could. And this project is just one example of us trying to help. So we continued the project by applying to the Smith Global Consulting Fellows Program at the Robert H. Smith School of Business at the University of Maryland. Unfortunately, our application was accepted and a team of seven fellows chose to work on this pilot project. Mamadou Sampara and Jackie Huang led up the effort to begin a census of hundreds of restaurant and grocery stores that sell seafood in Puerto Rico research that is ongoing. Lily Zhang links social media accounts to entities found in the MAP Census exercise to help us determine web presence and operational status of the restaurants. Mark Duchev dove into our data and provided advice on operationalizing our relational database to provide analytics and data visualizations or products 
to restaurants and fishermen participating in this program. Natalia Jamro managed the seafood supply chain research for the U.S. Puerto Rico seafood markets and focused on dolphin fish, which in Puerto Rico is the most landed commercial species in terms of weight. And lastly, Sophia Pang and Keisha Coates worked together to create a survey in English and Spanish to distribute to seafood restaurants that are interested in participating in our seafood research or this program in Puerto Rico. Cuando mi mente vuelve y abre, eh, me mantengo dándole la data de la pesca, ya sea la mía o de la pesca que yo cogía, y ahí fue que él se empezó a dar cuenta que teníamos un problema de electricidad en el área. Buenas noches, bienvenidos Buenas noches, a la muchas gracias. ¿Qué tú me recomendas hoy? Pues precisamente a Cedric Pesco Dorado. Dorado me suena bien, caramba, sí. Dame un filete con salsa, salsa criolla okay. y claro. papa frita. Gracias. I was looking so much forward tonight to come over here and have a good dinner. Oh, 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 caramba. We lost power again. Otra vez. We were really excited when data collection resumed with Menta, but couldn't imagine their frustration and loss of business by losing power routinely. Caramba, Cedric, yo creo que tú necesitas una planta. Obviamente, yo llevo seis meses cerrado, eh, no estaba en condiciones para comprarme una planta, y de hecho, no habían casi plantas en la isla para comprar. So we wrote a solid proposal to the Weight Foundation's Rapid Ocean Conservation Grants Program and included an industrial strength generator in the budget. Entonces, agraciadamente, Wes me pudo conseguir una planta y me la mandó para Puerto Rico y la instalamos, cubrimos los gastos de la instalación, una, una especie de área para guardarla, nunca había tenido planta. Steps that can be easily replicated at future sites around the island. Ah, prendió la máquina, prendió la luz. So we truly put our 110% in this pilot project. And there's so many amazing benefits. Uh, first and foremost, Menta is now able to serve the community in the event of another natural disaster. Ahora mismo Menta está prácticamente listo para, Dios no lo quiera, otro evento, eh, porque tenemos la planta, estamos por instalar un cister, una cisterna, pues vamos a estar listos para operar, para servirle a la comunidad y para seguir comprando pescado y seguir dándole data. Data that can increase our knowledge of the economics and dynamics of Puerto Rico's seafood industry. Near real-time data that can showcase the tight-knit relationship that Menta shares with local commercial fishermen that source seafood to them. Seasonality of fishing catch and seafood dynamics. And countless other data and fishery science applications exist that in turn can help improve fisheries management, ocean conservation, and the local economy. And last but not least, participating restaurants stand to receive equipment upgrades and responsible fishermen that partner with the restaurants will receive gear incentives. So if you're a seafood restaurant or commercial fisherman in Puerto Rico and think you'd be a good fit for helping us expand this program, drop us a line at seasonalcatch at beyondourshores.org or you can find us on Facebook on our Facebook page at Seasonal Catch. <laughs>